So let's take a look at an example of inheritance in Java. I have got a Hello World program open and we have got our parental class up here. And let's go ahead and change this so that we are using some inheritance here. One thing about parental is that it is basically a kind of machine. So we can envision that perhaps there is a base class that we could use that our printer would inherit from that's called a machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these is on this functionality or this state of is on and I'm going to move it up to the machine class that we are going to create. So we are going to make the printer inherit from that. So it's going to derive its is on functionality from the machine class. So I will go ahead inside our program and then I will add under printing. I'm going to add a new class and we are going to call this machine. And then this machine class, let's go ahead and move this is on up to there. So I'm going, so I'm going to take everything that has to do with is on. I'm going to create this variable in our machine class and then we will create a constructor for our machine class that handles the is on and we will take the setting of the is on here out of the printer. So in the machine class we will do public machine and then we will have it to take a boolean for is on and we will set this dot is on equal is on. So now we have a machine class that has an is on and that's all we are really going to put in the machine class is this functionality. We are going to also add some methods. Let's add the public method call it turn on. And this will be just very simple here. All it's going to do is turn on the machine. So we'll just say is on equal to and we will make another method call it turn off and it will just set is on equal false. So now we have our machine class or base class we have got our printer here and it's trying to use this is on that doesn't exist so we need to inherit from the machine class. So I'm going to make printer extends machine. So now printer is basically inheriting in Java. This is how we do inheritance in Java is we just use this extends keyword and you can only extend one thing because we cannot inherit from multiple classes. So printer is going to extend the machine. It is a subtype of machine. We have got a little bit of a problem here that says implicit super constructor machine is undefined must explicitly invoke another constructor. So we actually have to call the constructor of machines since we made the machine constructor take available. So one nice thing about using Eclipse is we can just click here in the margin and a lot of times you can just have this automatically be fixed for you. In this case we don't have that option. But what can we do here is basically we are going to just call the constructor of machine and pass it in the is on flag. So we are going to use super is on. And what this will do is, this will make sure that it calls the constructor of the machine class. Super just means call my parent or who I'm inheriting from. Call that constructor or use the attribute. It just refers, just like this, refers to the current class that we are using. Super refers to the parent and will pass the is on there. Now the other thing that you will notice here is that we can't use this is on because it's not visible to us and that is because if we look at the, the machine class we made is on be private. What we can do is we can change this to protected and what that will do is it will allow any subclass, any children of machine, anyone who inherits from machine to be able to access this variable as well. So now you can see in our printer class we can access the is on. So let's go ahead and run this code just to make sure that 
what was working before is still working. You can see we had created our printer with it being set to on in a serial number, a model number of my printer, and then we get these print colors. So I will run this to make sure that this works. And as you can see, it still works. So let's go ahead and change this so that we are going to call print and we will do one copy. Now we can see that Now we can see that it is set to on and the printer is set to on. And now what we can do here is because we have used inheritance, because we have inherited from machine, we can call this turn on or turn off method. So we should be able to do my printer dot turn off. And because it inherited from machine, it has this method and turn off should turn the printer off. So now we print one copy after turning off. We can see now that it was on and then it turned it off. So just to recap what we did here is we created this machine class and then this machine class we put this is on. We move it up from printer so that all machines could have this is on because all machines have this in common. And then we created a turn off and turn off method, turn on and turn off method that flips it from true to false. Then in our printer, because we had created this machine constructor that took the, the is on, we needed to actually call super from inside of our printer's constructor and pass on the is on so that our machine class, our base class could be properly, properly constructed as well because it requires this is on to be passed into its constructor. Then everything worked fine as long as we were able to access this is on from our subclasses, which we made our machine is on protected so that printer could access it. And then printer just worked as normal. But now what we have done is we have extracted out this concept of being on to a higher level to a machine. And our printer has inherited from machine by extending machine.